what's good my fellow Victinis? My name is Pro Victini and today I am bringing you another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. In the last episode, we went ahead and caught ourselves the almighty Evil Tell. And uh, well, we conquered uh, Team Flare's base. In today's episode, well, in today's episode, we're going to be heading onward to the next area. But before we do that, you can hit, get yourself TM66 payback right here from this old guy over here. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. And uh, be sure to leave that like button some love, as it certainly will leave some love back right at you. But yeah, I've, it's been quite some time since we last played this game, as uh, usual. I know, this this walkthrough is taking so damn long, and it's not even a bad game, man. I, I love Pokemon Y, and same with Pokemon X, but I don't know. For some reason, this, this walkthrough just takes, well, it takes quite a long time to do. Um, have we been over here? I am not too sure, but we... Our team's looking pretty damn good, actually. I forgot how good this team is. But right here, I think... Um, should we use Zeppelin? What does Zeppelin have on him? Why does Zeppelin have the Miracle Seed? That is that is a question we all like to know, hey? We all would like to know why a flying-type Pokemon... Here, we're, okay, Black Sludge, Lucky Egg... I don't need that on you. That is definitely a no-no for that Pokemon right there. We don't... We, yeah, why, why do you need that, huh? Uh, have we battled any of these guys? I feel like we have because well, or no, no, we might actually not have and We forgot to put a repel on before we got rudely interrupted. I actually want to see if we've battled any of these guys Because I actually don't know where we should be going right now uh, What what is this? This is yeah, we've we've been here. Wow, okay. Okay, uh, can we use cut? We do not have cut. See, that is why you actually want to keep recording your videos. Because look at that! We actually found the right place to go at here, which is down in Star City. Do you have a minute? I'd like to talk to you face to face. Let's meet in Curlway Town. Alrighty, man. I can I can definitely meet you there. I, I don't really know how to get there and everything, but uh, I'm sure I can hit you up anytime there. Is it this way that we have to go? Or no, I think this is the forest, actually. I think... Wait, wait, wait! No, I... Th are we going the right way here? I think we are, actually. I think we are actually going the right way here. And, uh... We'll, that'll, we'll see that in just a second here, actually, if we're going the right way or not. No, I think we've already battled... Oh, no, 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 no! We're, we're going the right way here. We are definitely going the right way here. That, yeah, Pokemon moves are very, very cool, buddy. Very cool. What is in this house over here, man? I forgot how big this area is actually over here. Let me tell you my brother's mysterious power. With it, he can reverse Pokemon-type matchups. It's really crazy. Normally, a fire-type mo move would be super effective against a grass-type move. But with my brother's mysterious power, it's the opposite. Fire-type moves become not very effective against grass-type Pokemon. What are you waiting for? Get out here and try as, try to use as many super effective moves as you can. Um. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I'll battle you. I want to see how this works, actually. Let's, yeah, let's do this. Can we? Yeah, okay. So these are called inverse battles. I'm pretty sure they were, in, oh, they were introduced in uh, when um, gener Generation Six came out. I'm not too sure about that though. Uh, I feel like it might have been in Generation 5 as well. Like, I feel like there they they might have been something like that in Generation 5. But, as far as I know, this was introduced into Generation 6. Um, and pretty much, like he said, if the move is super effective against, let's say, the, this Grump Pig. Usually, Shadow Claw is super effective against Psychic-type Pokemon. Not in this case. If I were to go use Shadow Claw, it just would be, it would be neutral. It, it's not, it's not really effective. And yeah, so that's how that works. So you kind of got to play it pretty smart here. And how that is some for some reason super effective, eh? Yeah. So something that's normally not super effective against a psychic type move would actually destroy. And in this case, something that's not really super effective against a psychic type Pokemon is poison type, I believe. Right? Yeah, yeah. Usually poison type Pokemon don't really do much against psychic type Pokemon. But in this t in this case, this sludge bomb is gonna wreck or not? What? 
okay, that doesn't make sense then. I saw, I thought that's how it would work. Because I, I know it's usually moves that don't work, that doesn't really uh, affect the Pokemon that much. Uh, that becomes super effective, but in this what the hell? Would it be, would it be, would that work then? How does this work, man? How is Power Gem the only move that's d being super effective right now? There we go, there we go, okay. Because I was wondering, I was like, man, that does not make any sense right there. So next, oh, T-Tar is level 66, man. I'm actually loving having a Tyranitar on my team. It's because it does so much fucking damage and it's just such a good Pokemon. This Pokemon, um... Mm, okay, so it's, it's a bug type and flying. So what's not... Uh, I'm gonna stay with Toxicroak here. Just because... Or is it is it bug water type? I don't know, because I know Surskit is bug watered, right? Am I right? I feel like I'm not right on that. Let's go for a mud bomb, though. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We're starting to play the game pretty accurately now, I guess. Is that going to be super effective? I believe it is. Yeah, fuck, man. That actually did a buttload of damage right there. We're definitely going to have to heal up here before we move on with this area. I'm pretty sure we... I'm not even sure if we're going on the right path here. But, um, no, 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 we, I think we are, but I think we aren't at the same time. And let's go for an E-Quake here, which, no, what the hell? How is Earthquake able to hit Maskerin? I thought Maskerin had, like, Levitate or something. What the fuck? Anyway, that Maskerin's dead there. And then, like, last but not least is Flygon. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go into, oh, shit. No, 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 no. I, f I feel like Zeppelin will be able to take on this Flygon. It's because normally, Electric-type moves don't really affect Flygon that much, but in this case, it should just because, well, it's an inverse battle. Uh, let's go for a Thunderbolt here, see how much that does. How much is, is Steelwing gonna... No, Steelwing... Okay. Of course, man, of course, we get Flinch and... Yeah, oh, we just fuck up real bad here, eh? And that Dragon Claw is gonna kill me. Good job, Zeppelin! Good job, buddy! You just officially fucked us over, because I don't think I have any moves that can do damage against this Flygon now. But he has moves that can do damage against me, I think. <clears throat> um... Yeah, normally Surf would do quite a bit, but in this case, probably not, and this is gonna hurt, probably. Yep. Yes, it did! Yes, it certainly did hurt! Hurt a lot! Uh, yeah, we're actually fucked, man. We are done. Unless we survive this, which I did not think would happen because, well, yeah, we're playing quite poorly here. If it was not for Zeppelin, we probably could have been able to beat this fucking Flygon. But no, Zeppelin's like, you know what? We're gonna screw over Jake here. Because we're a, we're gonna, we're a fuckery like that. Is that even, like, a, a term you can use? Uh, but anyway, let's go for that Stone Edge right here, which, uh... <clears throat> I'm really hoping that we can win this battle. Fuck yeah, we can, because T-Tar is a boss! There we go, Tyranitar, there we go. A level 64, not bad, thank you so much. Even though, uh, Zeppelin actually did kind of fuck us over there, though, to be honest. But that, those are inverse battles. Yeah, it took quite a bit of our time, but he does give you a citrus berry, so it's 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 worth it, I guess. Well, on over the journey we go. Uh, I decided to go get some repels and heal my Pokemon up, but yeah, this is the right area we're supposed to go. With my shorts on, there's no stopping me. I can go anywhere. Yeah, I'm really happy that guy did not get a pincer sweep, because that would have been really, really embarrassing for me. Second battle on this route, and or third battle, I just, the second? Yeah, third, no, it's third battle, and there's already a fucking pincer sweep happening. 
Um, ooh, what is this? What kind of Pokemon is this? Is it something rare? No, it's a Durant. So yeah, in these bushes over here, you can actually get yourselves Durant. Um, I believe Furo. And if I'm not mistaken, a heat more. But I might be thinking of a different area where you can get yourselves heat more. Over here, we cannot get any of that item over there. But there is an item over here we can go get. Where is this? Ah, oh, there's a Pokeball in that bush right there. That's kind of an awkward position to put a Pokeball at. But right there, you get yourselves a Pokeball. And onward we go. Now, oh, do we... We've already battled you, I believe. Yes, 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 we have... Brick Break and Hydro Pump. Where is this item at, yo? Where is this item at? Down here somewhere? Oh, right here. There's an other right there. But as you can see right down there, if you were to go cut down that bush, you were able to get that Pokeball down there. Uh, but I think... Oh, uh, we gotta battle this guy first. When it comes to climbing, you can ascend or descend. Which do you prefer? Well, since you are asking, I prefer to descend just because I hate fucking heights. I hate heights, man. I cannot- I cannot stand them. But yeah, this is actually the right area where you're supposed to be going. Uh, you can go into this mountain over here. There's a lot of- there, this thing is going off like no tomorrow, yo. <clears throat> Straight up. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat is this foe's fucking parched. But yeah, there's- So yeah, you can either go into- Hold on. But yeah, you're supposed to be going over this way to get to where you want to go, which is Curaway Town. However, uh, for those of you that love exploring, you can actually go and explore this mountain over here, which is, um, I forgot the, this, this cave's, this dungeon's name, Terminus Cave. But yeah, for those of you that like exploring, you can actually go explore Terminus Cave right now. And I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a little side quest here, just because, well, it's, it's already over here. And I mean, why not go explore this cave? You can actually get a lot of good hidden, hidden items down here as well. And it's good for your Pokedex. So I highly recommend you do it. Uh, later on in the story, and I'm talking about like way, like after you've beaten Elite Four, you can actually come back here to capture a uh, legendary Pokemon. Yes, that is correct. Um, I'm kind of ruining the story here, but hey. I'm sure you guys know this game's already been out for like what three years now like yes yeah, I think it's been three years now since this game got released because I think it got released in 2013 Pretty sure Pretty sure this game got, got released in 2013 along with Luigi's Dark Moon. That's the only reason I can remember when this game's released Huh, what are you looking at? I'm gonna make you help me work if you lose. I honestly find it hard, believe, hard to believe how Tyranitar can level up so quickly, yet for Zeppelin, it takes him fucking forever to gain levels, man. I don't understand that. I, I just don't. It doesn't make any sense. Do we have anyone that has Rock Smash? No, and I, is Rock Smash even a TM? No, I don't think it's. I don't think it's an HM in this game anymore. Let's go see if we do have Rock Smash. One un memento. See, the sad thing is we do have Rock Smash. However, um. I, what move I'm gonna delete for Rock Smash? Rock Smash is fucking 40 damage, man. Like, what? I can see why it is not an HM anymore now. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to teach anyone this move, to be honest. This is so garbage. No, just give up on learning then. No, let's get out of there. We will not- I guess we won't be exploring the whole cave then. Uh, but I mean, you can do that on your own time. Uh, the only, I, I'm just gonna explore the areas I do I have access to right now, which probably isn't that many of them, just because, well, I gotta, gotta battle this fat guy over here. Ho, 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 I dropped my book while I was running across to see it, it was an unbridged version, ho, ho, ho. Oh, 
Alrighty, moving along here. Uh, there is a Pokeball over there, which I really want to get. But, I don't think I can get it, actually. A work in a cave, Roger picks a... What the hell does that even say? Pictures Q, if I do say myself. I get that this is a cave and all, and they kind of want to have the whole aspect of having Pokemon that are little cave Pokemon. I guess not really cave Pokemon. That doesn't make any sense. But seriously, this this whole caves like all the trainers in here, they have a huge, huge weakness to grass type Pokemon. Like, do they never think that hey, maybe one day a trainer is gonna wander through here where they fucked on the grass type Pokemon on them, and then that well, then everyone else can be fucked here. I don't think they ever thought of that because, well, look at look look at this. Everybody has ground types down here, eh? I mean, I guess it's the only if that's the only thing you can really catch down here, then yeah, go for it. But I I would I would have been like, hey man, maybe there's trainers with grass type Pokemon out here that might come into this cave because they have grass type Pokemon, and we cannot get that item over there. So that's that is that's uh, yeah, that's useless. Um, however. Is it down here? Oh shit. People often say it's the beginning of the end, whatever do they mean? Okay, where's his item at? Where is it? <gasps> oh, yo, can we get that actually? I think we can. I think we can. I think. Oh, we can if we thought that we had Rock Smash. Are you serious? <sighs> that that is actually very disappointing that we cannot get that. And this this dowsing machine is pissing me off because I feel like that item is. Yeah, it's right over there. Okay. Well, that was kind of a waste coming all the way over here. But whatever. We, at least we know now that there's an Tia... Or not a Tia, an HM we can get. Where, no, what the fuck? That is what happens when you don't play for Pokemon... When you don't play Pokemon for so long. Because honestly, it's been... What? Four months now since I last recorded a video. So also... By the way, if, the, if my commentary is really bad as of right now... It's because, well, I haven't done commentary in like a long ass time. Last time I did it was four months ago. I mean, I did make an update video a few days ago, but that's like a long ass time for you guys. Uh, this because these videos are like pre-recorded way ahead of time, so that way I've got stuff to upload. But yeah, um, it's been a long time since I did. It's been a long ass time since I lasted commentary, um, and even recorded videos for that sake. <laughs> So, I'm kind of rusty in the whole commentary thing and how to make videos and whatnot. I can still edit very, very well, in my opinion. Not as not as well as some other people, but... Being self-taught, I can do that pretty well. I, I did not forget how to do that, and I did not forget how to use Photoshop and all that stuff, but... It really... You can really tell that if you don't... If you don't do commentary every day, and you don't do videos every day... You can really tell that your commentary just becomes... Well, not bad, I would say. But it just becomes bland because you're not used to doing that. You're not used to talking to yourself. So it really is a skill, in my opinion. People that can do good commentaries and stuff like that. It really is a skill because if you don't do it for that long, you're kind of washed out then. And yeah, it's not that good then. Your commentary is kind of bland then. You're just kind of all over the place, hey, like I am today. So I'm sorry about that. And I also got a fucked up because I had no clue where to go. Um. At the beginning of the episode, I was like, yeah, no, we're gonna go over here, and blah, 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 and no, it turns out we already went there, Jake. Because you're a dumbass, and, uh, you forget things really easily for some reason. Yeah, that's, yeah. Anyway, let's moving along here. Is there anything over here I can get myself, or is this gonna be blocked off by a boulder? Nope, I can actually get myself an item over here, which is an X attack. So all that just for an X attack. Thank you, game. That... That really means a lot to me, just making me waste all that time for a fucking X attack. And I never really got why this is here, because there's no item there or anything, it's just, it's just there. Oh my god. Hey, we got an iron right there, which is, uh, I guess that's fine and dandy. What's over here? Yes, I like to use a repel, because I don't really want to encounter wild Pokemon, you know? 
and there's that why is that even there i don't some of these things that the game the developers implanted the games honestly sometimes never make sense literally never makes sense to me like for example how to get reg gigas in pokemon alpha sapphire and omega ruby that is the hardest thing to do and like how how would any like in my opinion how would anyone know how to get that pokemon it just doesn't make sense man you, it, you literally need to go look on a guide to find figure out how to do it and even on a guide sometimes it doesn't work either uh let's see have we been over here i don't think we have that items is down there and we can go up here but we can't at the same time Alrighty, over here what is what is dwelling back here oh it's another pokeball it's a full heal oh boy gotta love yourself some full heals eh and i think that's actually it that we can explore for this cave without getting rock smash um yeah I th yeah that's actually it for this cave that we can explore wow I thought we'd be able to go further down this cave, but I guess not. Just because you need rock smash most of this stuff in this cave. And there's a little Pokemon over there we could have gotten, but I'm just not going to get... Hey, I thought we already battled you. Boom! One final gamut low gambit low sweep right where it counts. Okay, okay, I know what you're probably saying. Jake, why the hell do you have Zeppelin on your team, man? He literally does nothing but die on you. That That is very true. That is very, very true. But trust me, Drifblim is an amazing Pokemon. Honestly, I love Drifblim. And, uh, well, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll be gladly to show you guys Drifblim's power as soon as, uh, as soon as he cooperates. How do I get that item? What the fuck? How do I actually get that? Do I need to go... And how do I get that? Like, seriously, there's so many items in this cave you can't get unless you have Rock Smash. Straight up. Cannot get it because I don't have Rock Smash. Okay, that's fine with me. Um, unless, wait, wait a second. Do we have to go on to onwards to the other side of this cave? Is that, is that what's happening here? We could go. Hey, we ended up somewhere else. That's for sure. I don't think we we were up here before, right? Yeah, no, we were down there, man. We were, we were just down there. Hey, I sir, I I'll take this battle because I have fucking thunderball on me. I forgot about that. Yeah, never mind. That that battle is uh, will never be uh, shown. That that's just yeah, <laughs> we lost there. Um, over here though, hey, that's where this HM is, which is TM31 Brick Break. That's not a bad TM at all, actually. I'm kind of curious to see what the other TMs are that we can get in this cave. So that was actually quite worth it, even though even though we did get our asses kicked by a birch Pokemon fucking trainer just because he kept using Stone Edge. With your damn fly gone. It's all good though. It's all good. Actually, we were up here before. I was just stupid. <laughs> but we cannot go into me. No, because cannot do that. Because we need to move that boulder. Which will not move the boulder. You know what I mean. You gotta use rock smash. You there to be a battle you. Oh no, oh no, I'm late, I'm late! Oh no, watch out, watch out!
So my question is, what did I make you late for? I made you late for trainer school. Okay, ma'am. I yeah. Okay. You you have fun in the trainer school there. I just want to see if there's anything else I'm missing because I feel like I'm missing something, man. I legit feel like I'm missing something besides that item over there, which I cannot get. I feel like there's something I'm legitimately missing over here. Uh, it doesn't seem like it, to be honest. Because I already battled that lady. I already battled you. I already did that battle. I know there's a Pokeball over there we can get. Okay, it doesn't seem like I'm missing anything, man. I, feel like I, I honestly feel like I'm missing something around here, but I guess I'm not. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely come back to that area later on, though. Don't worry about that. Uh, where is this item? Uh, it's right over here. There's honey right there. Oh, wow. I didn't even know you can get honey in this game, to be honest. Damn. <laughs> you learn something new literally every day. I honestly did not know you can get honey in this game. And I think this item over here is... Where is his item at? Anyway, this is Kure Town, and this town you can actually get quite a few useful items. I believe um, you can get yourself. I hate. I honestly hate the dowsing machine in this game so much. Black and White's dowsing machine was by far the best dowsing machine I've ever used in any Pokemon game. Um, this item. Where is his item at? It's literally right there, which is a pretty wing. Okay, that's not a bad item at all, actually. I think that raises your attack or something. <coughs> um, but yeah, there, there's not much to do in Curry Town. There's a few items you can grab here, and a few people you can talk to. Nothing really too much in interesting happens here. Uh, I think... Yeah, there's nothing really else to do here in this, in this town. The only reason you're coming here is literally to talk to Professor... Uh, Sycamore, that's literally it. Nothing else really to do here. And let's put that on as well, because I want to see what's around here, you know? You know, there is a... There is a rare candy right here. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's get that rare candy going then. But there, that's not why I'm here. That is not why I'm here. Uh, what? What am I even reading? Right, there's a Pokeball. So we get a rare candy and a Pokeball there. That's not a bad... Those aren't two bad items at all, actually. You there, ma'am. I have th I have two of the TM for you. Your turn. I'll share one with you. Oh well, thank you, ma'am. Right there, you get yourselves Team Eighty Nine U-turn. So I guess after all, it wasn't that bad coming to Curry Town, except there's still a fuck ton of items going off, yo. Where is all these items coming from? Where are they? Where are they? I can't find them. <laughs> uh, but. With that being said, let's go talk to Professor Sycamore. Hello! I have to apologize to you and about Lissandre. I'm very sorry for the trouble he caused. And I'd also like to thank you. I'm sincerely grateful for what you did. For all those Pokemon and people of this world. And by stopping Team Flare, you also saved Lissandre. I always knew that he desired a beautiful world. And maybe someday, the population of people in Pokemon will actually increase to where resources become very scarce. If someone acts out of greed in such a world, surely someone, some will go without. If all living things keep acting that way, there will be nothing left at all in the end. Why, there won't be anything left. Just steal will there. But what I really wanted was for him to put his ego aside and lead everything at greater heights. I've never had this discussion with him though, so I'm partially responsible for this. Well, enough of that, Jake. I want you and your Pokemon to take everything you learned from your journey and hit me with your very best shot. So yeah, you actually battled the Professor here, eh? Yeah. Um, I believe Professor Sycamore, <coughs> his team, I think, it, I'm not really sure how his team works, but uh, yeah, you actually battled Professor Sycamore. One of the, this is one of the when I fir, when I fir, when this first happened to me when I first played Pokemon X. When I was live streaming for you guys, I was so, so shocked. Because out of all the Pokemon games, I don't think you battle any of the professors besides Professor Sycamore. Uh, I don't recall battling Professor uh, Oak. I don't re recall b battling Professor Birch. Yeah, I don't really recall battling any of the professors, to be honest. So when I first saw this, I was really damn impressed. I'm, I'm, I'm still impressed to this day. 
because it adds so much more to the story. Um, cute charm to insomnia. That's that's wonderful. Now, uh, now I have insomnia. Thank you. Now I gotta go get some meds for that shit, eh? Screw you, Venus. Sorry, I gotta spend meds on fucking because you gave me insomnia, eh? Not, not, not impressed at all there. Not impressed. And can you stop using synthesis? I mean, I guess you just started using it, but why? Is it needed to be- is, it's not needed, man. Just don't fucking sit here and keep using synthesis the whole time. Special attack got lowered, but I'm pretty sure Venus- is Venus your special attacker? No, it can't be. I thought it was a physical- no, 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 no. It's- it, I know it's physically bulky. Oh, there we go, yeah. See, it's been a long, long time since I last played Pokemon, okay? So just give me a break here. Uh, ooh, level 64, not bad, okay. Blastoise, yes. Uh, let's go into Tony. I would have sent out Zeppelin here, but you know, that, uh, Flygon killed us, so I cannot, cannot send out Zeppelin here. But we can send out our trusty old Tony here, and with one hammer armor, it's gonna be dead. But I think, I think Professor Sycamore actually has, um, all of the Kanto Sutters, um, on his team. I'm pretty sure, because, uh, this actually gives you the opportunity to see him, to see all these Pokemon on your Pokedex, because when you obtained your starter Pokemon from him in, uh, Lumio City, you only had a, an option of, uh, obtaining one of them, so you could not see the other ones on your Pokedex. But here, he gives you a chance to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry about coughing so much today, by the way, as well. The, the air has been really dry around here where I'm living right now, and so it causes for me to uh, get these mild cough attacks sometimes, which kind of sucks. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's go and use Stone Edge against his Charizard, and that should kill it off. I'm surprised he didn't Mega Evolve any of these Pokemon, but then I guess, then again, I guess we've been 1KOing these guys like there's no tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure he's supposed to Mega Evolve one of them, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, is he not? I don't know. But anyway, there you go, you have defeated Professor Sycamore just like that, and for your, uh, battling efforts, you get 7,000 grand for doing that. The strength you have found is simply marvelous, and you truly love and trust your Pokemon. Jake, a treasure of mine is hidden in this town. If you like to try, if you like, try to find it. Well, I'll be off, and I have many preparations I must attend to. I have a little surprise plan for all of you. Thank you for fighting Team Flare and saving Kalos. And that surprise he was talking about, I believe, is right up here. No? I could have sworn that's where his surprise was. I kind of found this other item too still, like where? Where is this item at? I found the item! After like 20 minutes of looking, it's right here, it's an ether. That is what's causing my dowsing machine to be so fucked up. <laughs> it's just a little other. Uh, but we're gonna go heal up our Pokemon real quick. And with that being said, let's move along onto the next area over here. Um, I think there's more to Curry Town than it's expected. Yeah, look at this. See, I was right. Uh, Curry Town actually isn't that, like, it seems like it's a small town, but it's actually pretty, it's actually a pretty good town, actually. Um. Oh, shit. No, it's not. What do I get as my prize? Uh... No. Hey! For all that, we get another Miracle Seed! Oh, thank you so much! I just love Miracle Seeds, man. It's not like I have one already. What do you gotta say for yourself, little lady? Have you visited the Art Museum in Luminous City? Uh, I don't think I have, to be honest. But, uh, thank you for letting me know that there is an Art Museum in New Lumio City. Or maybe we have, actually. I feel like we have done that at one point or another. Uh, what, what is over here? Hey! I think over here... I'm pretty sure over here you get yourselves a, um... There's a Mega Stone over here you can get yourselves, is there not? Right on this rock over here is a Prism Scale. I'm not sure what those do, but yeah, there you go. You get yourselves a Prism Scale. And uh, yeah, I'm not too sure if there is a... Fuck that, paying 300 poke dollars for fresh water. Are you serious, man? Are you legit serious? There's no way in hell I'm paying that for a fresh water. Straight up, are you serious? Fresh water. You're asking me to pay you 300 poke dollars. Uh-uh. 
I'm not paying that. You, you you can certainly do that if you want to, but I can literally just drink the fresh water that you're standing at. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not as clean as and filtrated as your water, but I mean, water is water, eh? Uh, what is in here? What is this? Is this another? Is this another hotel? I feel like this is a hotel, and that's. Oh yeah, I think we can get our last. What is a little conjure shoot when its internal gas explodes? I think it's rocks. No, what the fuck? What is it? Oh, it shoots water. Hey, TM55 Scald! What? That's such a good TM just for such a like, stupid question, to be honest. But hey, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain about any free TMs I'm getting here. I don't even know you can get TM55 Scald there. <laughs> um, but I think... I think the what's what's McCallit guys here? What's his face? The guy that gives us all those O powers, Mr. Bonding. Yes, he is. Hey, hey, how's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Bonding, the expert on O powers. Let me ask you, just in case, do you need to hear an explanation of O powers? I do not, man. He, that's my friend. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time. Ooh, we can use stealth power level one now. Yeah, that's yeah oh, I, This guy is literally the creepiest guy in any Pokemon game I've played honestly, and I've played a lot of Pokemon. I'm sure we all have uh, <laughs> But there we go. We're done there uh, Professor Sycamore's gift. I'm not too sure where that is actually, but I'm sure we'll we'll eventually find it But yeah, that is Kuraway town for you. And I believe this is actually the town where he grew up, to be honest. Anyway, in the next episode, we're gonna head onwards to the next area where we should be going, which is, uh, well, let's, let's check it out! Where are we headed next episode? Uh, do we, do we have a map? No, it does not seem like we have a map, so we gotta, we gotta, we gotta use this map right here, which, uh... uh or, no, 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 no. Hey! Here we go. So in the next episode, we're gonna head onward to Snow Bella City, and uh, well, then after that, to the Pokemon League. But before that, to Victory Road. Until next episode, thank you so much for watching. Until then, peace out, see you guys then. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. What's good my fellow Victinis? My name is ProVictini and today I am bringing you another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. In the last episode, we went ahead and caught ourselves the almighty Evil Tell, and uh, well, we conquered uh, Team Flare's base. In today's episode, well, in today's episode, we're gonna be heading onward to the next area. But before we do that, you can hit, get yourself TM66 payback right here from this old guy over here. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. And uh, be sure to leave that like button some love, as it certainly will leave some love back right at ya. But yeah, I it's been quite some time since we last played this game, as uh, usual. I know, this this walkthrough is taking so damn long, and it's not even a bad game, man. Like, I, I love Pokemon Y, and same with Pokemon X, but I don't know. For some reason, this, is, this walkthrough just takes, well, it takes quite a long time to do. Um, have we been over here? I am not too sure, but we- Do you have a minute? I'd like to talk to you face to face, let's meet in Curlway Town! Alrighty, man, I can- I can definitely meet you there. I, I don't really know how to get there and everything, but, uh, I'm sure I can hit you up anytime there. Is it this way that we have to go? Or no, I think this is the forest, actually. I think- Wait, wait, wait! No, I- th Are we going the right way here? I think we are, actually. I think we are actually going the right way here. And, uh, we'll, that'll, we'll see that in just a second here, actually, if we're going the right way or not. No, I think we've already battled- Oh, no, 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 we're, we're going the right way here. We are definitely going the right way here. That, yeah, Pokemon moves are very, very cool, buddy. Very cool. What is in this house over here, man? I forgot how big this area is actually over here. Let me tell you my brother's mysterious power. With it, he can reverse Pokemon-type matchups. It's really crazy. 
Our team's looking pretty damn good, actually. I forgot how good this team is. But right here, I think... Um, should we use Zeppelin? What does Zeppelin have on him? Why does Zeppelin have the Miracle Seed? That is, that is a question we all like to know, hey? We all would like to know why a flying-type Pokemon... Your work, okay, Black Sludge, Lucky Egg, I don't need that on you. That is definitely a no-no for that Pokemon right there. We don't, we, yeah, why, why do you need that, huh? Uh, have we battled any of these guys? I feel like we have because, well, or no, no, we might actually not have. And we forgot to put a repel on. Before we got rudely interrupted, I actually want to see if we've battled any of these guys. Because I actually don't know where we should be going right now. Uh, what what is this? This is th yeah we've we've been here. Wow. Okay, okay. Uh, can we use cut? We do not have cut. See, that is why you actually want to keep recording your videos. Cause look at that, we actually found the right place to go at here, which is down in Star City. and yeah, so that's how that works. So you kind of got to play it pretty smart here. And how that is some for some reason super effective, eh? Yeah. So something that's normally not super effective against a psychic type move would actually destroy them. In this case, something that's not really super effective against a psychic type Pokemon is poison type, I believe. Right? Yeah, yeah. Usually poison type Pokemon don't really do much against psychic type Pokemon. But in this t in this case, this sludge bomb is gonna wreck or not. What? Okay, that doesn't make sense then. I saw, I thought that's how it would work, because I, I know it's usually moves that don't work, that doesn't really uh, affect the Pokemon that much, uh, that becomes super effective. But in this, what the hell? Would it be? Would it be? Would that work then? How does this work, man? How is Power Gem the only move that's d being super effective right now? There we go. There we go. Okay. Because I was wondering, I was like, man, that does not make any sense right there. So next, oh, T-Tar is level 60. Normally, a fire-type mo move would be super effective against a grass-type move. But with my brother's mysterious power, it's the opposite. Fire-type moves become not very effective against grass-type Pokemon. What are you waiting for? Get out here and try as try to use as many super effective moves as you can. Um... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll battle you. I want to see how this works, actually. Let's Yeah, let's do this. Can we? Yeah, okay. So these are called inverse battles. I'm pretty sure they were in, oh, they were introduced in uh, when um, gener Generation Six came out. I'm not too sure about that though. Uh, I feel like it might have been in Generation Five as well. Like I feel like there were there there might have been something like that in Generation Five. But as far as I know, this was introduced into Generation Six. Um, and pretty much like he said, if the move is super effective against, let's say that this Grump Pig. Usually, Shadow Claw is super effective against Psychic type Pokemon. Not in this case. If I were to go use Shadow Claw, it just would be it would be neutral. It it's not it's not really effective.